Hello my friends and welcome to a blind let's play of Chrono Cross. I am the Flat Spur, this is your story based gaming channel. And we were told in uh, Termina to head to the ruins of Viper Manor to see uh, Norse. So that's what we're gonna do today and I guess we'll see how this goes. Hello. So Norse is right, please come in. All right, that's good news. Last time we came here, we couldn't uh, get past this point. Oh, Hurl's here. What is she doing here? Thought I left her behind. Guess she follows me around everywhere. I believe it has been four years since I retired from the Dragoons. Uh, time uh, sure does fly. I was uh, shocked to hear Dario's death three years ago. And now the general and the others are missing. The manor is in shambles. I took the liberty of conducting my own investigation, but I had discovered nothing. All I know is that a man named Lynx approached the general and has involved him in some kind of incident. The only difference with the other world you talk about is that something has happened to the general three years ago. I just hope that this Norris fellow knows something. I know nothing. I was not involved with De Pan. I do not find it amusing. Okay. Looks like Harl's sticking to us regardless of what we do. Hello there. Uh, we sent some men to the El Nido Triangle to investigate a mysterious beam of light. Now here there's a monster atop the Sky Dragon Isle. What is up with this El Nido place? Oh, monster in Sky Dragon Isle. Oh, that's interesting. Hi, Harl. I know nothing. Okay. Are you, uh, Socrates all of a sudden? You do not know anything? Uh, by the way, if you don't know, um, uh, Socrates never said he knew nothing. It's just when they asked him about divine nature, um, he would say, I know nothing. So Norris is in the basement. Please enter this well. Or can I uh, check around this way? Nope, I guess not. Yeah, but uh, Socrates wouldn't infuriate people because uh, you get all these like very prominent people who would ask Socrates questions and uh, Socrates would just say, I know nothing because he refused to answer them. And plus it was always his um, idea to answer a question with a question because only through self-reflection do you find an answer. It's called the Alenkus, uh, the Socratic method. Please enter through here to get to the basement of Viper Manor. All right. So Norris is in the basement. Please enter through here. Okay. Let us uh, enter through the waterway then. And there is a bug here. I do not want to mess with that bug. Uh, there's also a kid staring at a rock. Can we not move that rock, please? Pa said he saw a great item and went inside this cave. But then a big, huge rock fell down and now Pa's trapped. Papa! Okay, I guess we gotta move this rock now. It won't budge. Really? Are you serious? I mean, we got a guy like Lynx, who's super strong. We got a guy like uh, Zappa here. Who, I mean, just look at this guy. I mean, look at him. Are you going to tell me you can't use that hammer to bash that rock down? Come on. I mean, Radius probably can't do anything. Unless you can channel Chi into the rock and make it explode. But Zappa should be able to do something. I don't think I can move this rock. I have tried, tried, and tried. Uh, do we have an item that we can use to, like, blow up a rock? Um, we have Ice Breath. But that's not gonna work here. Uh, Hecron Bone? No, I guess not. Alright, well, I don't know how to save your father. I am sorry. Why would they set up camp with all these insects and gloopity gloops here? I mean, these things are so weak. Like, so weak. Why do they make us go through here again? Then again, maybe they uh, increase their uh, damage and stuff. Uh, let's check out Zappa. We haven't used him yet. Hey, we hit it too. That is always good news when we start an episode. All right, let's try hammer throw. Oh, 
Wow, he actually does spin like a tornado. Huh, that was pretty cool. I approve. And the best thing is we started today's episode by hitting a two. That's amazing. The bug did zero damage to me. Huh. Huh. I wonder how that works. Maybe it's just really high defense on our part. Yeah. Can Zappa just mitigate damage automatically? Oh, uh, let's do quick draw because we haven't seen this before yet either. You know what's wild about that move? I am currently in the process of just rewatching Ramoni Kenshin, and I just started yesterday. And that move looked exactly like Kenshin's uh, quick draw attack. Um, it's it's almost like the same thing, except you know Kenshin, you know, floats up into the air and then comes down on his enemy. But it looked like the exact same move. I was also told by our good friend of our channel, uh, Dio. Uh, that I should try to refrain from talking about anything that is uh, Persona 5 Strikers. Because apparently, all it does is just make him sad because he doesn't have Persona 5 Strikers yet. And Dio, I'm sorry. Um, I will do my best to not talk about Persona 5 Strikers. I will do my best to make sure that I do not mention how... You know, I'm two hours in, and it's a whole lot of fun, despite the fact they completely changed the uh, battle mechanics. Uh, the story is still incredible. The new character is super kawaii, and uh, I'm having a lot of fun with it so far. So I will do my best to not make any more mentions of Persona 5 Strikers. Dio is going to kill me in the chat. <laughs> I love you, Dio. You're amazing. All right, um, let's get back to Chrono Cross, though. We got to swap some bugs. Uh, the best thing about this, uh, in my opinion, is we kind of have to... I'm sorry, we don't kind of have to do anything. Um, by fighting these fights, we get uh, those, like, HP ups. Um, and we eventually get a, uh, you know, a, stupid, a super stat up. So, you know, it's not so bad that we uh, squatch these bugs. Although these bugs can't seem to hurt us. So it seems like they increased their HP, but they didn't increase their uh, their other stats because they are doing absolutely no damage to me. See, they're just not doing any damage at all. Doo, doo, doo. Now we've seen this cast against us. You know, that's actually a cool move. Sort of like a, sort of like a sonic burst from drawing the staff out of the sheath just so rapidly. It looks really cool. All right, so we found a bunch of aqua balls, no other loot, and no stat gain. Wouldn't have been a lot easier just to go to the, uh, to go to this place directly. Oh, we found a carnivore, which is a trap element, which means we'll probably never see that element in the game. <laughs> but seriously, it would have been a lot easier just to go to the uh, the shadow forest, wouldn't it? Rather than come all the way around the back way. What are, what are we finding anyway? Finding Couscous. Hey, I love Couscous. He's like the guy from uh, the Emperor's New Groove. Uh, one of my favorite Disney movies. I mean, come on, that movie is just so funny. It is, it, it is such a good movie. If you have not seen The Emperor's New Groove, go watch it, trust me, it is, it's just such a funny movie. All right, well, so we got one out of the two. Radius should be able to finish this off. And he does. I gotta figure out a way to get to the front of this uh, area. Doo, 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 doo. Okay, we're not getting uh, stats like I thought we would. Uh, how do I, how do I, do you go down? Okay, here it is. I was trying to go right there and I was running into a wall. Um, We have the couscous guys here. I really don't want to fight you. Although I do want to check the waterfall. Hmm. 
unfortunately, we're going to have to fight a few of these guys. Which, again, leads me to believe that we really should have just gone the other way. Okay, let's see what's in the waterfall in this dimension. Hey, there's a guy next to a fire. Don't even dare. Well, what if I dare? What if I dare again? Or I dare again? Alright, okay, I'll stop. Hey, you guys want to join me for some hot stew? It'll cost you, though. Let's see. I know. Bring me a mushroom. I'll give you that treasure if you're able to find me one that will impress me. Hey, you guys want a, a mushroom? A mushroom. Do we have a mushroom? Uh, no, we do not. Alright, we're going to have to go find a mushroom, you guys. And I have no idea where we're going to find a mushroom at. Ah, da, 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 da. Just press X everywhere, I guess. Okay, we hit that thing, but nothing happened. So that means the plants probably don't do anything. Again, why did we take the back way? Which has been so much faster if we just gone the normal way. Is there a mushroom over here? Mushroom. Where are you, mushrooms? Here, mushroom, mushroom, mushroom. Ah, this guy's chasing me. Leave me alone. Ah, that guy ran at me from all the way over there. It's like, dude, you're one little onion. You're an onion. You're not even an onion, you're a bulb. You're a bulb, and you hope to stand against the might of Lynx, Radius, and Zappa. And surprisingly enough, you actually dodged that last hit. I don't know how that happened. That must have been a 99% chance to hit that he dodged. Oh well, poor Bulb. We knew him for like two seconds of his life and then he just died. Spoils found, we found a seed. Very good. Uh, let's go. Oh, by the way, um, I was thinking about other games that we're going to be playing um, after Chrono Cross, and of course, I do want to play uh, Grania 2. And I've already mentioned I'm playing Grania 2 after Chrono Cross. Uh, that was kind of the thing that we alternate between Chrono Trigger and Grania. That guy just jumped out of the air to attack my head. Very weird. Uh, but anyway, after we play through Chrono Cross and we play through Grania 2, um, I'm going to be playing a different game in between uh in between uh grandia 2 and the next grandia so the question is what should that game be and i don't have an answer for that yet um so i had a couple choices and the choices that aren't blind are games like uh valkyrie profile uh shadow hearts that was cool. So we have Valkyrie Profiles, Shadow Hearts, Parasite Eve. Uh, Parasite Eve is not a very long game. Um, and it's sort of like Resident Evil meets RPG. It's a very cool game. So I have those three non-blind games that I'm thinking about playing. And then I have a couple blind games that I was thinking of playing. Uh, one game that I've only played through the first two hours or so because... It was more of an action game, and I didn't entirely like the action part of the game. Uh, was Legend of Dragoon. So, giving Legend of Dragoon a second shot wouldn't be the worst idea. It is kind of weird because I didn't like Legend of Dragoon when I played it for the first hour or so, and yet I absolutely adored uh, Super Mario RPG. So, how do you like Super Mario RPG but not like Legend of Dragoon? I don't have an answer for that. And why do we keep missing? I don't have an answer for that either. Um, but yeah, Legend of Dragoon is a game that I would like to play sometime. Um, what else? Uh, one of my friends mentioned uh, Xenosaga. Or oh, not Xenosaga, Xenogears. Um, I never played Xenogears before either. Uh, it's one of those games that I played for an hour and just stopped playing because, again, the battle system annoyed me. So I never got deep into the game. Uh, I think the furthest I ever got in Xenogears was the first hour. And then hitting the buttons to attack, it just didn't appeal to me. I know, I, I have a pattern of games that I kind of gave up on within the first hour. And they all basically have like the same stigma attached to them. Uh, so we have... 
Uh, we have Legend of Dragoon. We have Xenogears. And I thought there was another game on my radar. And I kind of forgot what it was. I'm not sure. But of course, I'm always willing to take recommendations too. So if you're like, hey, uh, have you played this RPG? And I'm like, no. And you can be like, well, you should play it. Sure, I'll be glad to play it. Um, I am someone who will take uh, advice of other people on games I should play. So let me know uh, which ones you would like to see on the channel. Now, granted, it's going to take a long time for us to get through these games, but... Uh... Game? Game? I am so confused right now. I am, like, really, really confused. I just went through the entire Shadow Forest, and somehow I didn't meet up with Norse. Where the heck is Norse at? I don't get it. I'm going to go back into Viper Manor, and I'm going to put a cut in this video, and as soon as I find Norse, I'll uh, see you guys then. Please enter through here to get the basement. Oh, I literally had to enter through here. Oh, wow. I, I, I feel dumb now. All that talk about why did we not just go through the end? I'm so dumb sometimes. I'm sorry, you guys. All right. Well, we went through Shadow Forest and we found that we need a mushroom. So that's the thing. The ladder leading to the prison is up ahead, sir. Okay. I see a treasure chest up there. I want to get that treasure chest. Let's go around this way. And we can cross over here. And then go around this way. And we find a mythical helmet. Can we push this? We sure can. But we can't cross. Oh. Aha. Okay, so we need to find the second one. So let's go down this way. Nothing in the waterfall. Hmm. 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 Let's go back in the water. And you are guarding something I need to push. Can you move out of the way? Guess not. Okay, let's go around this way then. Is there anything up here? Nope. Uh, there's a stair there. There's a stair there. And I just blocked my way from going this way. Well, I guess we're going this way. Sir, Sir Norris is up this ladder, sir. All right, well, let's go up the ladder. I'll come back to that room. Don't worry. Oh, I remember this place. This was locked to us. It's locked. It's also locked. It's also locked, too. Uh, you'll find Sir Norris in here. Uh, this seems to be the only accessible room. Oh, by the way, another game that I don't know if I mentioned um, that I would like to play on the channel is Shadow Hearts. Uh, Shadow Hearts 1 and 2 are not blind, but Shadow Hearts 3 is because that game was a huge embarrassment, in my opinion, uh, to Shadow Hearts franchise. And I don't think that's fair because I never really gave it a shot. I just heard that they moved the setting and it didn't really involve the main character. And it just seemed to me to be you know, money that they're trying to make off a third game. Uh, so I really would like to play Shadow Hearts series again because Shadow Hearts 2 is one of my favorite PS2 games. And Shadow Hearts 1 is also a great game. So I'm really wondering about Shadow Hearts 3 if it's really good or bad. Anyway, no worries. So Lynx, it has been a while, sir. As you can see, the manor is in shambles. And here comes Harl just walking behind me. It looks like even if you get rid of the person in your party that you need in your party, they'll join you anyway. There is still no sign of the general or the others. We are still investigating the area, but it appears that the frozen flame is not here. Sir, are you really Sir Lynx? You seem different than last I remember. Uh, you are correct. This man is not Lynx. Excuse me, sir, but who might you be? I am Radius, a Dragoon, although I have been retired for four years. So you are Radius, one of the four former 
one of the former four devas. It is an honor to meet you, sir. I believe you, sir, but it is still hard to accept that this man is not so Lynx. Uh, he may look like Lynx, but his spirit is of another. Uh, that is quite strange, if I may say so. Uh, it is up to you what you want to believe. Uh, so, what business did you have with Lynx? Have you uncovered anything about the disappearance of the general? Uh, you'll be doing us a great favor by telling us what you know. Very well. I will tell you what I know. It was actually so linked to approach us about the existence of the frozen flame in El Nido. Being from the main continent, we had doubted its very existence, so it was sent to El Nido archipelago as a spy. I had narrowed down the location of Viper Manor, but it appeared as though General Viper and his men were in search of it as well. Eventually, I was called back to Poi, but it was then that I heard General Viper and his men had disappeared and that the manor had been destroyed as such. I heard only recently that there is good evidence the general and his men headed to the Dead Sea. The Dead Sea is an ocean located to the east, surrounded by coral. It used to be called the Sea of Eden, but even then, not many dared enter. We investigate the area, but to no avail. We could find no entrance. It is you, Sir Lynx, who wish to change the distorted world using this frozen flame. Oh la la! Such grand dreams, Monsieur Lynx. Uh, hold your tongue. Zoot. Uh, so, the Dead Sea. I'm really glad I brought Radius with me. Although, then again, would he have just showed up anyway too? It's kind of hard to tell, but I'm really glad he's here. Uh, that ocean was called the Sea of Eden until three years ago. Uh, this may be just a clue we were looking for. Once we uncover Lynx's plans, it should be easy enough to counter them. Are you planning to go out to the Dead Sea? Uh, there is no way to get in there. We searched all over for an entrance, but to no avail. No one knows anything about it either. You know, I had talked about replacing Radius with Vaughn as well. I guess it's a good thing I forgot to do that, because I'm glad Radius is in our party. Uh, yes, I, I doubt you'll be able to get in. I'm sure the demi-humans of Marbul know something about this, but they detest humans. Uh, especially those from the main continent. Perhaps it would give us a hint if we were to go. Then, may I join you, sir? I want to know. I want to know if the frozen flame really exists, and about everything that has happened here. Uh, what about you? Hmm? Moi? Oh la la, but of course, I will follow this Monsieur Lynx. The other one is no longer Monsieur Lynx. She is weird. Don't understand her. Uh, there is a military boat locked in Termina. Let us use that. Hey, Norris enlisted in your party. You know, I don't know if I mentioned this, but the way that your characters join your party, um, I love the special messages when they do. It always brings a smile to my face. So we have Norris here. And what we're going to do is we're going to replace Radius with Norris and uh, with Vaughn. Uh, so we replaced... Zappo with Vaughn and Radius with Norris. I want to use like all the characters, you know? It's just what I like to do. <laughs> Keeps the game interesting when you constantly are switching out your party members. Uh, let's go ahead and unequip uh, Zappa. Although that's not really going to work. We're going to have to go in here to unequip the armor, and then do this unequip the accessories. Because I don't know if I have enough mithril uh, armor to go around. Uh, we're gonna go into elements, and we're going to get rid of all elements. And let's look at our characters before we equip them. Uh, uh Norris. 
You are a yellow innate with a very uh, bell-shaped curved uh, element grid. Your stamina recovery is 11. Holy cow. Your strength is really high at 23. And your magic is decent at 18. You're the black wind leader. Uh, your age is 26. You're a male. Your origin is Poi and Zenin. You're 5 foot 10 inches at 137 pounds. An average build and right handed. Van. Uh, Van has a strength of 17 and a magic of 15, which means if you compare him to uh, Noah's here, he's vastly inferior in every single way. <laughs> he has less stamina recovery. Um, his accuracy is also an 80. Ouch. Um, Noah's accuracy is an 85. Uh, so Van is basically a very horrible character based on stats. Uh, you're a Pennywise artist. You're 14 male from Tamina. 4 foot 11 inches, 88 pounds. You build a smallish and you're left handed. All right. Um, Van, I don't know how much you're going to be on our party because your stats are really, really bad. And when I say really bad, I mean, I thought you'd be like an awesome magic user. Sort of like a prodigy of sorts, but nope, that is not the case. Okay, so let's go ahead and auto allocate old party because that'll fill in um, Van as well. And what we'll do is we'll go to the three spiral ray. Shoot a twisting ray of aura from your pistol. That sounds pretty awesome. Sun shower. Fire, fire aura into the air to cause a rain of bullets. Now that sounds awesome too. Um, these hit, these eagle eyes though, not a fan. Um, let's go ahead and replace the eagle eyes with. Uh, well, you're a yellow element. By the way, our, our our elements are all over the place here. Let's go ahead and uh, organize. Okay, so let's look at yellow. Uh, you already have an electro bolt there, but let's put another one there. And also, let's put a Meteor Shower. Now, I kind of want to just put Meteor Shower here twice. Because it's a really good spell. And we'll put Electro Jolt as a, um, as a 6. And then we'll leave the rest alone. And we'll go to Vaughn. You have Jump Throw, a technique learned from a correspondence course. Hey, maybe he played the old Sierra games, Quest for Glory, which we have played on our channel. Our first series, in fact, and because of that, uh, my audio is all over the place, and the gameplay is kind of weird, but, you know, I still had fun. Uh, wet paint, all foes and allies. Throw artist paint pots all over the place. Is that a good thing? Because I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Alright, um, Eagle Eye. You know, actually, I should probably equip it on him, because his magic isn't really good, so increasing his own hit chance would help. Especially in a boss battle. Um, same thing with Bat Eye. So we'll just leave that there. But I do want to give him a green arrow blaster. He's got another arrow blaster there. Another eagle eye there. Heal all. Cure plus. Yeah, alright. Fine enough. You're like our buffer slash healer. We can live with that. Uh, equipment. Ferris gun. It's made out of iron. That's not good. Um, but we do have mithril males to give. Your hit percent is 87. And we have one sight scope, which we're going to give to Van since his is, hit is atrocious. Um, I don't think we have any other item that increases hit, though. Yeah, we do. Silver loop. Alright, take one silver loop. Take a Dragoon Gauntlet and take a Magic Ring. And then you have a Silver Ring, which is good. So I just need to make a weapon for uh, Norse. And we will give you this, the best hit percent we can. And then another hit percent because it's so bad. And we'll give you a Magic Ring just to try to round you out a little bit better. And now we can... Uh, well, we'll use Smith Spirit in a second to uh, get Norse a better weapon. Looks like we can jump on the ship. Hello there. Commander Norris, all is well, sir. 
Well, can we leave? Like, I'm assuming now I'm taking over the ship, right? Yeah, I, I don't care all as well. I want to go. How do I leave? Hello, can you help me out here? So no, it's all as well, sir. I don't care if all is well. Maybe this is our boat. Well, the boat? Yeah, okay. Well, you know, I thought we were going to get the really cool, uh, the really cool, uh, big ship there, but I guess not. Is it going to let us control the boat? Please let me control the boat. I want to explore. I want to explore. Yes! We can explore! Oh, I'm so happy. That, that really makes me smile. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna explore everywhere. Let's go ahead and use the Smith Spirit for the first time. And let us forge a... There we go. Argent gun. Um, mithril and copper. That's interesting. So we're gonna get that. We have mithril mail. We don't need a mithril helmet. So let's equip Norse with his new gun. Plus three attack. No hit percent, but still, that's really big attack. All right, well, my name is a Flightless Bird and this is your story-based gaming channel. Uh, this is our blind let's play of Chrono Cross. And even though we're supposed to head to, um, to Goldove, actually, we're not supposed to head to Goldove. We're supposed to head to uh, Marble, right? Yeah, so, ooh, there's a light here as well. Oh, so we gotta go to El Nido Triangle. We gotta go to uh, the Dragon Islands. We gotta go to Marble. What is that? Nothing? It's got a really weird black spot in the middle there. Um, the Dead Sea we can't get to. City of the Damned, that's gonna be fun. Hermit's Hideaway, we'll have to go there as well. There's also a ship here. Uh, SS Zelbez. It's kind of cool. Um, I think the first place I want to go is... It, it's going to be a really easy place to go. But if you remember, uh, at the, uh... At the, uh, Fort Dragonia here, um, there was this, like, machine that we could use. But the machine was... Like, didn't work. And there were all these cracked eggs everywhere. I really want to go test that machine. The only problem is we're going to have to go through Mount Pyre to get there. And Mount Pyre is... Well, it's a brand new place for us to explore. Why don't we just go ahead and get that treasure chest? Nope, let's not get that treasure chest. I don't even think that's a treasure chest there. Nope, it's not a treasure chest. Oh, man. We almost killed ourselves. And I haven't saved in a while. That would have been a really horrible way to end the episode. Uh, Flightless Bird dies and has to replay the last half hour uh, because he was an idiot. Actually, we didn't lose that much HP, though. What up with that? I remember, like, one second of that fire would decimate our entire party. But yet, didn't do that. Don't understand it. Uh, but yeah, so this is our party going into Mount Pyre. Uh, we're going to go through Mount Pyre, and then we're going to hit up the... Um, uh, the Fort Dragonia. What I may do is I only like to cut like backtracking or grinding, but if we're backtracking literally through the exact same place that we've already been through, even though we haven't been there before, I may cut that part out just because we've already seen it and it's exactly the same. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll like record the episode and if I notice it's different, I'll, uh, of course, you know, bring you guys in. Hopefully, we'll be at Fort Dragonia in the next episode, and then we can search this entire open ocean, which is going to be a lot of fun. I love you guys so much. Thank you for everything. I just want to say, uh, if you're still watching this video, about 25% of the people who actually watch my videos on YouTube are actually subscribed. Uh, so if you made it to this point and you're not subscribed already, you know, think about throwing a subscribe, because, I mean, this is, like, 28 or so episodes in yeah i mean that's a good time to do it love you guys until next time take care thank you for watching this video feel free to comment on what you saw and what you would like to see next i always love to hear your thoughts please be sure to like and subscribe for more also please do not forget you matter you are brilliant and you are loved and you should always remember to be true to yourself don't let the world tell you any different much love to you from your friendly feathered flightless bird till next time